What's up, man? It's your big brother, K. Reno. And um, presidential candidate, Democrat candidate, Joe Biden has announced that his running mate for the vice president spot will be none other than uh, Sister Kamala Harris. Black lady. Yay! Or is it a yay? Um, I want to say that I don't mean no disrespect to nobody. I really don't. I say a lot of what I say to try to just make people think about it from different angles. But we just have to have sense enough to know that clearly Joe Biden is selecting Kamala Harris to try to sway the black vote in his direction. That is not to say that Kamala Harris is, an, is not an intelligent, uh, qualified, uh, very, very um, dignified and professional black woman. That is not to say that she is not capable of doing the job. It's just to say that we see through the tactic that Mr. Biden is using. Joe Biden has a well-documented history of racist statements. He has a well-documented history of being either the catalyst or being heavily complicit and involved in racist policies. Hell, he's even made ridiculous statements concerning black people this year. So, when something is so clearly obvious as, uh, as being a ploy and a tactic, then those of us, well, let me rephrase that, those of you who still believe in this um, system of, of government and the process of voting in the national elections, those of you who still have faith in that, I would ask you to, to, to kind of just consider a few things before falling for the banana in the tailpipe. These individuals have no concern for black people whatsoever. Their only concern is their own agenda and trying to get to where they're trying to get to politically. And they will use whatever methods that they deem necessary to accomplish that goal. So let us not be fooled by the fact that um, Crime Bill Joe uh, chose Sister Kamala as his running mate. He knows what he's doing. He's trying to kill two birds with one stone. You get black people and black women all at the same time. He knows what he's doing. But don't fall for that smoke screen because no matter who wins, whether it's Trump or Biden, if we don't unify among ourselves and force and implement our own freedoms and policies and build our own nation, we're never going to get to where we're trying to get to as a people. So leave your comments below. I know some of y'all are celebrating and you love it. And I don't, and I like I said, I don't mean to, be, I'm not being disrespectful. I'm just trying to make us think. Kamala Harris will, you know, if she wins, or whether she wins, whether they win or lose, Trump is already unloading on her. He's already, it wouldn't have matter who Biden selected, Trump would have had something negative to say about it. Um, but we got to make sure that we understand how this game is being played and the the act of using black folks as pieces in their game continues even in 2020 because it's always been we've always been the key piece all the way from building this country for free to the present day so leave your comments below Tell me what you think. 
I don't see how she can get respect from certain members of this nation. Because even when a black dude was sitting in that seat, they didn't respect him or his wife. Called his wife a monkey, called her transgender, called the president a boy. Come on, man. Come on, man. See y'all when I see y'all, man. It's your big brother, K. Reno. Peace.